The book that I have chosen to review and read is Milkweed by Jerry Spinelli. This book is a historical fiction similar to The Book Thief, which means it's taking place in the past, but it's using some true and real characteristics and historical figures from the past to make up this fake story. So, Milkweed is set during the years leading up to the Holocaust, or during it, it's hard to tell. Um, by the end, it's it, during the Holocaust in Warsaw, Poland. The story tells of a young, naive, homeless uh, gypsy and unnamed boy who steals day and night to, to survive. It is narrated in the past tense by the boy himself as an older man living in America, and throughout the story, the boy meets many people, whether they like it or not, he steals from a lot of people. Um, but one of the main characters is Yuri. He's a part of a group of so-called bandits who steal and stick together to stay alive of young teenage boys. After some while, he becomes good friends with a little girl and ends up leaving what they soon called heaven to join the Warsaw Ghetto with the girl's family. He didn't know any better as he was extremely naive. From then on, the book picks up with many interesting events and topics among the sad, crowded, and poor ghetto. The boy who ends up being called Misha, our main character, plays a big part in the book as he is the main character, um, and also shapes how Janina, who becomes also a very good character, um, how she acts and, can be, and how the end of the book can be summarized. I personally would have given this book 4 out of 5 stars, as I've read better historical fiction like The Book Thief, and it lacked longer, more packed sentences with descriptive words. Without much description, um, the author kind of had a more straight-up, fast-action approach and left out description for most parts of the book. Now, I prefer a more descriptive book, and because of this approach, it was also very, very small. It was, like, just 208 pages, and they weren't very big. And, uh, like, it's it's a very short book and easy to read. Like, a, a grade three could probably read it. The structure, sentence, the sentence structure and stuff was not hard, but the topic wasn't as um, grade three appropriate. So, um, as I prefer the more descriptive um, type of approach, um, it was also really small, and it took me only under six hours to read. So, although it lacked description, the story was also very interesting and one of those books where you never want to put it down. It kept pulling me in. So, I would give it the four out of five stars. Um, the reviews on Goodreads and other websites, like chapters and stuff, they sort of followed the same thing as me, except a lot of people very much enjoyed them. I wouldn't say that I would give it a five, but out of most of those reviews, a lot of people were saying that they're like his favorite author and everything. Um, I'm not, I wouldn't say he's a children's author, but, um, certainly, like, a lot of kids probably do read this stuff earlier on, because it's not, it's not too bad, it's still school appropriate, so it's, it's good for younger audiences, but it's a really easy read, so it's not, um, my, one of my favorites. I've read lots of books, so I wouldn't really consider this to be very hard, and I prefer to challenge myself with reading harder books. And I'd say that for most of those reasons, I would recommend it if you're, if only if you like historical fiction and you're interested in history and stuff from the past. But if you like those, um, if you like more, uh, fiction, I mean, more books that are true to today, uh, I wouldn't recommend it at all, no. Uh, you, you need to be interested in it to be reading it. And if you're interested in history and you enjoyed The Book Thief, I'm sure that you would be pulled into reading this. And that's the end of my review. Thank you for listening.